The aftermath of the prolonged human-elephant conflict, farmers across the world counting losses of hundreds of thousands of shillings worth of food crop destroyed by the jumbos. But here in this village of Mwakoma in Taita Taveta County, sandwiched between Savo West and Savo East National Parks that host hundreds of elephants, is a product of eight years of research on the behavior of elephants in relation to bees that many experts say will be a game changer in controlling elephants. We found that elephants, if they hear bee sounds, they see bees, they run away. So we've used that natural behavior of elephant fear of bees to create a natural fence system around small farms in Kenya. Elephants' behavioral experiments demonstrate that not only do elephants run away from bee sounds, but they also have an alarm call that alerts family members to retreat from a possible bee threat. The Elephant Bee Project that was initiated sometime in 2006 through the Save the Elephants Foundation in Samburu has now set its base here in Taita Taveta County. The project, headed by Dr. Lucy King, a British national, has successfully erected beehive fences for 14 farmers based on the proximity of their farms to the national park. And we're not go trying to protect every single farm, we're just protecting the farms on the front line of the elephant crop parades. So it's like a long thin line of individual farms between Savo East and the Shambas. And those are the farms we're concentrating on. And we're really trying to expand the project now. Given the fact that an elephant proof farm needs about 24 good quality Langstroth beehives, Dr. King explains that due to the cost implications of 5,000 Kenya shillings apiece, dummy hives are co-opted to mimic the real hives. The high fences are strategically located around the farm based on the commonly used routes by the elephants to invade the farms. The 24 hives are then interconnected throughout the farm so that in case an intruding jumbo tries to cross over to the crops, the massive contact of the jumbos and the steel wire shakes up all the hives that in turn activates the bees, the wheezing sounds effectively repelling the animals. Although bees get less active at night and in very cold surroundings, a behavioral trait that could limit the use of a beehive fence since most elephants invade farms at night, the constant buzzing of bees fanning their wings from fully occupied hives at night gives elephants enough warning to stay away. Furthermore, species of both Asian and African bees have been observed foraging successfully on moonlit nights. Some farmers are using traditional beehives instead, which are almost free. Some farmers have beehives already up in their trees, they already have bee projects. So we definitely encourage farmers to use the bees that they already have in the beehives. The freely issued natural beehive fence has other sweet returns to the farmers. Once we've donated the beehives, the beehives belong to the farmer. So we are w then we go back to the farmer and say, if you'd like to sell us the honey, we'll buy it from you at a very good price. We buy it at 200 shillings a kilo, which is above uh, other prices in the market. Hezron Zumu, whose farm was among the 14 constituting a pilot project attesting to the blessing that is the elephant's bees project. <laughs> Beehive fencing, according to Dr. King, shall however remain just an additional tool to the other ones already in the toolbox, including the use of electric fence, use of buffer zones, firecrackers, dogs, watchtowers, drums, concentrated chili extract, burnt in dung briquettes, sprayed or pasted onto string fences, among others. This conservation effort of beehive fencing could not have come at a better time for residents living on the edge of the Savo National Parks. A conservation effort the lead researcher has indicated to us hopes to be expanded to other parts of the country in order to curb human-wildlife conflict. We're tackling human-elephant conflict at the grassroots level, but it still needs to be dealt with at the government level. We need government ministers to start protecting corridors, stopping farms um, coming into those corridors and causing the conflict in the first place. Farmers with the toolbox of various detrants are advised to combine or use the methods in a rotating manner in order to have a greater effect than relying on any one method alone. Alex Kubasu for Monday special in Voi Taita Taveta County.